Okay, in this video we're going to go over the integral test and p series for various series. We're going to start with the integral test and this is how it's defined. The integral test is defined as if f is positive, continuous, and decreasing for x greater than or equal to 1 and a n equals f of n then these two right here both will either both converge or both diverge and since they'll both do the same thing they're easily subs you can substitute them for each other so you can take your series and plug it into an integral using the integral test because they'll have the same outcome so let's try it in example one we have the series from one to infinity of one over n squared plus one now we already know that it's positive and continuous the only third thing that we have to make sure of is that it's decreasing so that it will satisfy the conditions of the integral test. To find if it's decreasing, you simply find the derivative. And the derivative of that would be negative 2n over n squared plus 1 squared. So yes, it is decreasing. And now that we know it's decreasing, it satisfies all the conditions for the integral test. And we're ready to plug it into an integral. So when we do that, we get the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx and when you do the integral you'll find that it's an arctangent problem so you do the integral and you get the limit as x approaches infinity of arctangent x from 1 to infinity when you plug in those bounds you get the limit as x approaches infinity of arctangent infinity minus arctangent of 1 and that is equal to this right here pi over 2 minus pi over 4 and pi over 2 minus pi over 4 equals pi over 4 and since you got an answer it converges let's try it again in example 2 we have the series from 1 to infinity of 1 over the square root of n plus 1 our f of x is going to be 1 over square root of x plus 1 since we know that it's positive continuous and decreasing I assure you it is. If you plug it in, you'll find that it satisfies all the conditions. So when we plug it into the integral, we get the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over the square root of x plus 1 dx. We do the integral and we get that it's 2 square root x plus 1 from 1 to infinity. When we plug in those bounds, we get 2 square root of infinity minus 2 square root of 2 which simply equals infinity and when you get that as an answer, you get infinity you know that it diverges so that's the integral test now something that goes along with that is the p-series test also for series the p-series test is defined as this right here the series from 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the p that's the format that you have to get your series into and once you have it in that format, you can check if p is greater than 1, it converges, and if p is less than or equal to 1, but greater than 0, it diverges. So you have to pay attention to that p. So let's try it in example 1 here. Example 1, we have the series from 1 to infinity of 1 over square root of n, and the square root is the same thing as 1 half power, so you have 1 over n to the 1 half, and since we're trying to get that 1 over n to the p format, we know that p is going to equal 1 half in this case. And since p is 1 half and it's less than or equal to 1, it diverges. Let's try and get an example 2. Sometimes they might give you a sequence like this, like that. The first thing you're going to want to do if they're give, it's given to you in a sequence is make it into a series using nth terms so you take that sequence and make it in the series from 1 to infinity of 1 over n root n which is the same thing as 1 over n to the 3 halves and in this case your p would be 3 halves and since p is greater than 1 this time it converges try it again in example 3 Again, you're given a sequence, and you have to make it into an, a series. So this time, when you take that sequence, you plug it into a series and get from 1 to infinity, 
1 over the cube root of n squared. And that's the same thing as 1 over n to the 2 thirds. In this case, your p is 2 thirds. And it's less than or equal to 1, so it diverges. And that's p-series.